I'm Anil Kumar, sharing with you a question from previous test paper. This is on derivatives of functions. The question has the very first one here, which says, find the equations of tangent lines to the graph of a function that passes through the point minus 1, 5. So I copied the question here. It says, find the equations, let me write this here, of tangent lines to the graph of f of x equals to x over x minus 1 that pass through the point minus 1, 5. This is probably the most difficult question in my list of videos for these derivatives. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now the key word here is find the equations, that means more than one, of tangent lines, so both are plural. So it gives you an idea that we are talking about more than one tangent line. Now if the point is on the graph, we could only draw one tangent line. So more than one is possible if the point is not on the graph. So that gives you an idea that we might be dealing with an external point. So in this case, we are actually dealing with external point. And when you read the question, such words help you understand that. Now, whenever you come across this, you should immediately check if this point is on the curve or not. So let's make a check here. So if I write minus 1 here, that is to say, if I find f of minus 1, it will give me minus 1 divided by minus 1 minus 1. That is minus 1 divided by minus 1 or minus minus 2 gives you half. So at minus 1, the point actually is minus 1 half, not minus 1 5. So that clearly shows that the point is not on the curve. It is an external point, right? Okay. Now to see the situation, uh, let me sketch a small graph here. I'm going to give you a solution in half the page. Uh, it requires a lot more work actually. Uh, so we'll kind of conserve on space. Function f of x is x over x minus 1. It has a vertical asymptote, which is right there, at x equals to 1. A horizontal x asymptote, which is ratio of these two, since the degrees are same for numerator and denominator. That's kind of summary of what we learned about sketching rational functions, correct? So what I've drawn here is asymptotes. One, which is a vertical asymptote at x equals to one. The other one, y equals to one, horizontal asymptote. If I substitute zero here, f of zero is going to be zero over minus one, which is zero. So graph will go through this. So that is to say that I can clearly sketch a function which is kind of like a reciprocal function, like one over x translated. Okay, uh, so I will do it like this. Okay. So this is not an exercise on sketching, but gives you an idea that the function will look like this. Now, the given point is at minus 1, 5. Let's say this is minus 1. Then 5 will be 1, 2, 3, 4, somewhere on the top. Okay. Anyway, I didn't really take the scale in that fashion. But anyway, let's say we have a point somewhere there. Okay. Okay. We have to draw tangents to these curves. So from this point, let's draw a tangent here to this curve, okay. Thing that touches here, and from here, okay, let me draw the other way, okay. So let this be the point, okay. So, so we have a point P, which is minus one, five, and the tangent is at point Q. What should this Q be? Since it is on the curve, it should be, uh, let's say A over A minus one. A O, I mean, if uh, what I'm trying to say is, if x is a, then y value be a over a minus one. Okay, so that becomes point Q. So let's say for this point x values a, so so f of a will be a over a minus one. Correct. So now we are working with two points. Let me write down here, p and q, and what is the slope between these two points? 
Slope, you know, is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. y2 is a over a minus 1, a over a minus 1. y1 is 5 divided by x2 minus x1, that means a minus minus 1. So a minus minus 1. Is that clear to you? So this slope is between these two points. P is given to us, minus 1, 5. Q, we just assumed a point A. So it gives me A. Y values would be A over A minus 1. Correct. Now that gives us A plus 1 here. We could take a common denominator of A minus 1. So we get A minus 5 times A minus 1 divided by A plus 1. Bringing it down, we could write this as A minus 1 times A plus 1. And here we get A minus 5 is minus 4A. Minus minus becomes plus. So the slope of this tangent line between P and Q is minus 4A plus 5 divided by A minus 1 times A plus 1. So in this fashion, we get our first equation. How do we find A? We need another equation, right? How else you can find the slope? Okay, we well, can find the slope by taking the derivative of the function. Right, so derivative of this function will be you can apply the quotient rule. So x minus 1 whole square, derivative of x is 1 times x minus 1 minus x times derivative of this, which is 1. So you get x minus 1 minus x divided by x, I mean, uh, 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 x minus 1, I'm sorry, x minus 1 whole square, right? So that becomes the derivative of this particular function. Now I could simplify this. Uh, it gives me x and x cancels. It gives me minus 1 over x minus 1 whole square. Now how about derivative at the point A? So this point has x equals to A. So at A, we can say f dash A will be equals to replace x with A minus 1 over A minus 1 whole square. We'll call this as our equation number 2. Now, equation number 1 and 2 are talking about the same tangent line. Do you see this? Same tangent lines. So, this slope should be same. That is to say that the slope MPQ is equals to F dash A, right? MPQ is minus 4A plus 5 divided by A minus 1 times A plus 1. And that should be equals to minus 1 over a minus 1 whole square. Now this you could solve. Cancel this, right. And now we'll cross multiply. So we get minus 4a plus 5 times a minus 1 equals to cross multiply minus of a plus 1. Let's expand this. Minus 4a times a is minus 4a square. And then we have plus 4a uh, plus 5a, and this is minus 5 equals to minus a. Uh, I could have brought this here, so I'll take it plus a plus 1 equals to 0. So I brought it on the left side. Okay, it's a good idea. You know, we need to save some space here. Correct. So this gives me minus 4a squared, and 4a, 5a is 9a, plus 1 is 10a, right? So we get uh, 10a, uh, which is plus 10a. And the constant here is, is minus 5 plus 1, which is minus 4, equals to 0. So the equation for us is minus 4 is square. Let me write down the equation here. So when I take up this equation, I'll try to make this positive. So I'll multiply everything by negative number. So we get 4a square minus 10a plus 4 equals to 0. So I multiplied the whole equation both sides by negative 1, okay, both sides, you understand, this side and this side. So negative 1 times 0 is 0, and this thing sign changes. That is the equation. We could divide by 2, right, so let's simplify. So when you divide by 2, you get 2a squared minus uh, 5a uh, plus 2 equals to 0, right. So 2 times 2 is plus 4 and minus 5a, so we could factor, right, so we get 2a squared minus 2a minus, I mean, 
4 and 1 I should have written, right? So 4 minus 4a minus a uh, plus 2 equals to 0. So we can factor 2a is common. We get a minus 2. Here minus common, a minus 2 equals to 0. a minus 2 is common. So we get 2a minus 1 equals to 0. That gives us a as equals to 2 and a equals to half. Do you see that? So a is these two values. Perfect. So we actually know both the points now, this and that. a is 2 and half. Let's find the y values. Okay. So what should be the y value? So if I substitute 2, so I get f of 2 as equal to, so here 2 over 2 minus 1, which is 2. And for half, f of half, I get uh, half over half minus 1. So that is half times, this is minus half, right? Minus half, I mean, I should have written like this. Uh, okay, which is like minus 1, is it okay? Uh, a cannot be minus 1, <laughs> looking into this, something wrong. Uh, so half will give me half over half minus 1, half minus 1, which is which is minus half. Okay, yeah, this one is minus half. That, that makes sense. So minus half. So we get these two points, correct? So we have now two points. We just need to find the, the equation of tangent lines now. So let me divide further. So what we're talking about now is uh, that we got two points now. If A is 2, then f of 2 is 2, right? So 2, 2. So this point we'll call as 2, 2, right? So we have a point which is 2, 2. And uh, if I substitute 2 in my equation, then what do I get? Uh, so the derivative at 2 is actually equal to uh, 2 minus 1 whole square is 1. So it is minus 1, right? The other point is a half, right? So the point is half minus half. Right. So this point is half minus half and the slope of tangent line at half is equal to, if I substitute half here, so I get half minus 1 is half, squared is 4, 1 over 4 I mean, so it will be, it'll be minus 4, is it okay? So the slope becomes minus 4 when, when A is half, right? So when you substitute here, half minus 1 is half. Square of half is 1 over 4, and there's a negative sign, which makes it negative. Okay. So once you know the point and the slope, you can write down the equation of tangent line uh, as uh, y2 minus y1. I mean, you could use to that. Or you can say y equals to mx plus b. Either way, you could find. So, so we could write this equation as uh, y minus uh, y value equals to slope minus x value. That so there are different ways of finding. Either way you could do. Anyway, let's use y equals to mx plus b equation. So we have y equals to mx plus b. y is 2 for you. Slope is minus 1. x is 2 for you. And b is we need to find. So taking to this side, we get 4 as value of b. Slope is minus 1. So the equation of this tangent line is y equals to m is minus. So minus x plus 4. So this is one equation, okay? So that is one of these two equations. The other one will be, again, same equation, but this time I'm going to substitute the point half and minus one, minus half. So y is minus half, okay? Slope is minus four, x is half plus b. So I'm using y goes to mx plus b, substituting these points, x, y, and the slope m is minus four. Bringing this minus 2 to the right will be minus half plus 2 equals to b. And that gives you b as uh, 1 minus half is uh, 3 over 2, right? So the equation will be y equals to slope, which is minus 4, x plus 3 over 2, right? So that becomes the slope of the second line, okay? So this is the second line. So we have these answers now. If we need to find equation of tangent lines, and the solution is, uh, as you can see here, two different lines. One is y equals to minus x plus 4, and the other one is 
y equals to minus 4x plus 3 over 2. Some of you could write the equation in standard form if you feel like, but well, that is good enough. I hope we just completed the whole solution in half of the page. That's incredible. But I hope you have understood all these steps. You may go through this video once again, understand these steps. This is one of the most interesting questions in this series of derivatives. And I hope you appreciate it. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Thank you and all the best.